Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, as promised, um, we're going to find out what's uh, rattling inside this drive. The other day I did a video about, you know, will it damage a hard drive by shaking them, and I got pretty violent with these things. Beating them in my hand like crazy and everything. This one was rattling. Still works, though, amazingly enough. Now, you're supposed to be in a clean room doing this, but that's only if you care about your drive. And we don't really care because, hey, come on, it's 320 gigs, it's old, and hey, if we get lucky, you know, it might still work, and we're going to test that out after we get it back together as long as nothing goes wrong here. So you are going to need a Torx screwdriver, and like I said, you normally are supposed to do this in a clean room, and it's a special room set up just for cleaning hard drives. I mean, you cannot be getting dust on the platters. You can't even get a fingerprint on one or it's screwed. Um, and we used to do this in the old days when um, we were repairing hard drives to recover people's data. And it was an expensive process for a reason. Um, but you only did this if, you know, that data was that important. Um, and even just for the attempt, I mean, you're still going to pay a lot of money uh, to have that done. Now, we don't really care if this thing survives or not, but we're just kind of curious what is actually rattling in this thing. Wow, that's all the screws, but, well, I guess since we really don't care, I need something to pry this thing with. There's got to be something else holding this. Yep. Uh, 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 uh. Maybe we can just try prying it here. Yeah, there's there's something else prying this. Hmm. Under here. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to. Same. Yep. We'll put this screw over to the side. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you're curious about what the inside of a hard drive actually looks like, that would be it. But what's rattling in this thing? Touch the drive itself. Hmm. I don't see anything that. Let's see if we can get some more light on this.
Those are all tight. Definitely uh, something rattling here. Oh, that's just the heads. Yep. That's just the heads. Well, I'll be darned. Hmm. That's uh, interesting. That's a lot of slack, though. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I don't know if you can hear this, but let me get it close to the camera. So that's what's actually uh, doing the rattling. Well, now we know, but there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, it is what she is. I mean, she is a pretty old and worn drive, but, you know, that's just the way it goes. I wonder where this part came from. Probably somewhere in here. This is probably just a moisture pad from the looks of things. Where did it come from? that came from the lid anywhere. Wow, nice silicone seal. Oh, I'll bet you. Maybe. Yeah, that would actually make sense to come from there. Yeah, it's not going to come from there. That makes sense. Yeah, at least that wouldn't interfere with anything. Okay. Likelihood that's where it did come from. Maybe if we just snug that screw up, maybe that'll help stop it a bit. Let's find out. No, that didn't help it. But that's exactly what's rattling though. At least now we know. It's pretty worn. So... Because I, I did mention before that when, a, when you start hearing a drive rattle, um, it's usually not a good sign. It's going to die. So, we're going to have to check this out, see if it still actually works. I'm not holding my breath, but you never know. We might get lucky. Like I said, you're supposed to be in a clean room because any dust that gets in there... It'll mess with things. Uh, one fingerprint on one of those platters, and they're screwed. So, this will be interesting if we manage to get this thing still running. If we do, I'm going to guinea pig it for a couple of weeks and, you know, really run the snot out of it, load it up with a pile of data so that it goes through the whole platter and see if it stays stable or not. But... As far as uh, everything goes, looks good though. But we want to get these screws nice and tight because that seal has to keep everything out of there. I'm not overly 
concerned about perfection for this, but I do want to keep that nice and isolated. Okay, so let's go over to our computer here. So I'm going to have to change our angles and stuff around for you guys. what happens. Slam that in our dock. Lo and behold, she still runs. Let's format it. Problem. Let's take some files and copy them across. Yeah, absolutely no problem. So now what I want to try, I've written to the drive, now I want to try reading to it. So making it read and then write to the other side. So we're going to make a folder on the desktop here and we're just going to drag and drop these. See if we get any read errors. Well that was instantaneously so we have no errors for reading. Wow. Lucky me. No problems. Not that I would do this, you know, for anybody but nice to know that, um, yeah, we know what uh, made it rattle anyways, and it's just the heads are loose because they're really worn. Um, there's nothing you can do to fix that. Once they start doing that, when they're that sloppy, there, there's no way to fix it. So, um, not short of putting a new set of heads in, and we're not going to bother doing that. And there's nothing to adjust. It's just, it's got slop, you know. But... Uh, Okay, so I, I would say um, that works well. Now I want to do a big um, copy to this. So what do we got for a big file here? 145 gigs. That should be a good test. So let's copy that across. And paste. This is going to take about 35 minutes. Hundred and forty-four gig. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll shut the film off here. Um, I don't think you want to sit here for 35 minutes and I don't want to upload 35 minutes extra worth of content. So um, what I'll do is I'll just oh, I'll uh, come back to it when it's done and let you know if everything went successful. Actually, you know what? Let's just record 35 minutes worth of video and I'll just fast forward it. How's that? Because in this way, it's still here and nobody can say, Oh, I gotta do this. So, I'm going to have to plug some power into my camera. Keep that going for that long a time. Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, I guess uh, we'll fast forward this and come back in 35 minutes and see what went down on this thing. If we had any errors or not. Oh, sorry about that. Screen saver's got to come off. All right, no screen saver. All good to rock and roll.
Well guys, it looks like um, we've got more or less um, half the hard drive filled. Not bad. Okay, um, it survived. Fantastic. So let's uh, reformat this sucker. That's it. We're done. So, um, for those wondering, you know, what's inside a hard drive, well, now you know. Um, and, of course, we found out what was rattling in this thing. Quite interesting, too. And it's still rattling. <laughs> and it still works great. Anyways, um, I wouldn't advise, um, you know, taking apart hard drives um, like I did on the video for you guys like I said this is supposed to be done in a actual clean room but um, you know if you have a hard drive that's got a rattling sound especially laptop drives and I'd mentioned in the other video that with the laptop one I had a couple that rattled and one did fail um, so they're a lot more delicate than what these ones are with the rattle uh, but we know that the, it's the heads that are loose and um, you know on, on the on the pivoter and there's nothing we can do to fix that unless you know we would replace the the guts in there to tighten things back up but I mean who's gonna do that on a 320 gig hard drive these days back in the day yeah you would have had that repaired because hard drives were massively expensive back in the day but with today's drives now nah, you kind of just you know if you can get your stuff off there Get it off, back it up onto a new drive, and toss the old one. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you know what? We're going to take apart a, a laptop drive, I think, pretty soon. And, you know, see what really makes them tick inside and what they look like in comparison. It'll just be a what's inside a laptop drive kind of thing. We're not going to do anything special. We will, of course, try and, you know, put it back together and see if it still works, too. But... Um, this was more or less to find out what exactly was really rattling in there, and now we know, um, and uh, of course, it did survive. So, anyway, thanks again. See you in the next one.